Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at how much storage you need for your Chromebook in 2021. If you go back to when the Chromebook was originally launched in 2011, you didn't really need much storage back then, and that's because the Chromebook is a cloud computer. It still is a cloud computer, but things have changed over the years. And what I mean by a cloud computer is that a lot of the stuff you do on your Chromebook, you visit a website address to do, so you don't install programs on your Chromebook. That did change obviously when Android apps become available on the Chromebook. So as soon as Android apps became available, they do install locally on your Chromebook. So you obviously needed a lot more storage space. So that changed things from people needing 16 gigabyte of storage up to now. A lot of Chromebooks, either 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte, and some come with a lot more than that as well. So the question is how much storage you need in 2021? Things have changed and I think one of the biggest things that has changed is Linux apps. Now Linux apps has been in beta mode for a while now on the Chromebook. It still is in beta mode, but it's so stable now that it's usable for most people. Also, it is coming out of beta mode very soon. If you've not used Linux apps, I'd suggest to do so because they are very good. Uh, the best thing to do if you want to use Linux apps is to install an app store, a Linux app store, which is similar to the Play Store. And if you want to know how to do that, I'll put a link in the video below so you can do that. And it makes it much easier then to find apps. Once you've done that, you'll find that there's so many different programs you can install with Linux. And it's all safe to do as well, because although you're still using Linux and you're installing programs locally, because of the security you get on the Chromebook, you are still protected because it's all sandboxed, so you don't need to worry about that. The programs, there's lots of different types of programs. You're gonna get Office Suites, like LibreOffice, for example, which is a Word document program, a spreadsheet program. If you don't want to use what you already get with Google Office Suite online, which I think is perfectly good, but if you do want to use a local program for that, there's, you can have, there is that available. Also, you've got stuff like GIMP, which is um, for image editing. I've not really used it much myself, and I do need to start using it a lot more. And there's, there's many more programs, lots of games you can use on Linux. And because now it's all on stable mode on the Chromebook, it makes sense that more people will start taking more advantage of what Linux can offer you on the Chromebook, because it can truly offer you a lot more than what you will get if you're just using your Chromebook to surf the internet, use apps on the internet and Android apps. Now, because of that, you need more storage. So if you are looking for a Chromebook and you're not too interested in Linux apps and you are just interested in Android apps, I would say storage wise, 32 gigabyte minimum, 64 gigabyte ideally. However, if you are interested in Linux apps, then although you'll still be okay with, first, well, not 32, yes, you would, but it'd be a bit of a struggle. You can on 64 and it's fine if you just want to have a bit of a play about that's fine but if you're serious about Linux apps and you want to start using these apps and then it, when you use these apps obviously they're going to install the programs these programs are going to take a lot more room than you would expect in generally than an Android app but there again some Android apps can take up a lot of room as well but a lot of Linux programs do take up a lot of room but you also need to bear in mind what you'll be doing when you use them programs for example if you're using an image editing program then it's not just a program that you need to install you need to think about the files that you went you've created your images you need to then save them files so you most likely be saving them locally as well obviously you might want to back it up to the cloud using Google Drive that's all fine but on a general day-to-day -day basis, you will need more storage space. So I would suggest if you are serious about using Linux, then I would look for something with about 128 gigabyte. Yes, you can use 64 gigabyte, you haven't got a problem, but 128 gigabyte, that I think would be a good way to go. You can get more, you can even get 256 gigabyte of storage, but I think 128 gigabyte, and I am only talking now if you really are interested in using Linux apps a lot. For example, if you started to use Audacity, the, the software for music editing, and you're really into it and you need to save a lot of files locally, then it's not just your files, what you're creating. You need to bring in music samples. All of that's gonna take up a lot of space. 
So that's why you need that storage. So I would opt for 128 gigabyte of storage as a minimum if you're a serious Linux user or you're thinking about becoming a serious Linux user. And you need to think about the future as well because now Linux is coming out of beta mode. I do believe that developers will put more effort into it because although Linux is fine now in beta mode, there is still something that some people struggle with the idea of, oh, I don't want to talk something that's in beta mode. Is it safe? Is it secure? So I think once it comes out of that beta mode, I think there will be a lot more interest. So even if you're just dabbling around with Linux at the moment. If you have a feeling that you may get more into it in the future, then I would seriously consider storage on a Chromebook. So basically, we've had a complete turnaround. We've gone from needing a Chromebook with very little storage space to now needing a Chromebook with quite a bit of storage space. Still not the amount of storage space you'd get on a Microsoft computer, for example, because it's absolutely not necessary. And you can still use a lot of programs in the cloud. But if you do want to take full advantage of Linux, go for at least 128 gigabyte. If you can afford more and it's there, go for that as well. So I hope this video has helped. If it did, please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos. And thanks for watching.